Good day, ladies and gentlemen. Let's talk mass transit and how to move it jointly to the next level using digitalization. Most of us work and live in large cities, and this is a major global trend that will continue into the next decades. Mass transit, in other words, metro, light rail and bus, provides the backbone of commuter travel in our smart cities. How can we help mass transit operators to increase peak time capacity while at the same time minimize service disruption. After all, these two factors clearly differentiate mass transit from automobile traffic in cities. The key technical objective certainly must be to ensure a high technical reliability. But how can we help maintainers to provide high reliability and availability while at the very same time be as efficient as possible? Last but not least, even the most reliable components have an end of life. So how can we help asset managers to determine the optimal point in time to renew their asset rather than to continue to maintain? The answer to these formidable challenges for mass transit is twofold. Choose the right methodology and choose the right digital tooling. Let's start with methodology and with asset management the ISO 55001 management standard to ensure that the intended value from physical assets will be delivered over their full life cycle. Asset management actually teaches us that all larger physical assets will always be subject to a fundamental trade-off between performance, cost and risk over their full lifetime. There are some important factors to consider when we apply this to rail assets and to mass transit in particular. Firstly, high performance such as one million mean kilometer between failure can be achieved readily with a very high investment. But of course, this cannot be the final goal since high costs will result in high fares and even higher taxpayer subsidies. Rather, the goal is to achieve a sustainable strategic balance between performance, cost and risk. Secondly, and this makes rail special to a certain degree, mass transit consists out of several core asset classes that are rather different, but at the same time, very interdependent. Rolling stock and tracks interact. Rolling stock and signaling interacts. So service reliability ultimately depends on all subsystems working seamlessly together. As an example, let us pick the use case for the optimization of maintenance intervals, so that it can, since it can provide a lot of value over the whole asset life cycle. We have developed a powerful AI-based decision support system. We use data to create transparency about the reliability and cost. We use this transparency then to undercover unlock potential for optimization. And now comes the glue. We use artificial intelligence to model future reliability and future cost at different maintenance intervals. The asset manager can now choose the optimal decision based on the chosen strategic balance for his or her mass transit system. We have taken out the guesswork. The example just shown is one of several ways that mass transit operators, maintainers and asset owners can use digital asset management. We view this as a first of a kind solution. Why is it so unique? Firstly, the starting and ending points of our solution are the business goals of our customers, such as service reliability and efficiency. Secondly, we do it holistically for all mission critical asset classes of a whole mass transit system. These asset classes are so interdependent that service reliability can only be tackled holistically. This approach also means that we get performance and cost transparency on a system level, which corresponds nicely to the view of the commuter. Furthermore, to optimize lifecycle costs, you have to clearly understand where maintenance procedures generate cost. The Siemens Mobility Services has vast experience based on more than 80 maintenance projects. And now to the most important contribution. For the first time, we have advanced AI models for reliability, cost and risk. 
the operator, maintainer, and asset owner can now make data-driven decisions on an enterprise level for their entire rail system. And this helps to keep mass transit as the safest, fastest, and most reliable way to travel in our cities.